Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram for this type of beam. As you can see in a diagram, we have three point loads acting downwards. These point loads are trying to bend our beam downwards, whereas we have, while we have uh, two reactions, the, re the, meaning, the meaning of reaction A R to support our beam and make it parallel okay we have three steps to follow first of all we have to calculate reaction second we have to calculate shear force diagram i mean we have to draw shear force diagram based on reactions and finally we have to draw bending moment diagram while we have to calculate the bending bending moments at each point okay so first of all, I am going to calculate reactions. As you can see, our beam is symmetrical. It means that all the force, uh, all the forces on both sides is equal. And in the middle, we have one force which can be divided, distributed on two reactions. And we have distance, length of the beam, two meter each. So these kind of requirements or these kind of loads and the distance make our beam symmetrical. When we have a symmetrical beam, then the calculating reactions is easy okay so how do we calculate it so it'll be total load this is a formula for calculating reactions for symmetrical beam total load is equal to divided by 2 total load divided by 2 which is equal to a reaction at r a is equal to r e okay so the total load we have i can write it in this way as well so the total load is 16 kilonewton divided by 2 is equal to 8 kilonewton. So at Re is 8 kilonewton upwards and at Ra is also 8 kilonewtons also upwards. Okay, so we have 8 kilonewtons at point A and at point E upwards now we can draw a shear force diagram based on these numbers okay so let's say this is our beam representation this is a this is b c d and we have point e okay at point a as you can see we have calculated eight kilonewton going upwards okay so roughly i will just draw this is our eight kilonewton okay and then we move to point b with a straight line since it's a point load so then it will go down 5 kilonewton okay so the 5 kilonewton is roughly here then we have to move towards point C which is 6 kilonewton this is 5 kilonewton I'd say okay then we have 6 kilonewton at this point acting downwards so this is 6 kilonewton then again you have to move to point D at point D once you get there you have a 5 kilonewton acting downwards again so it will go straight down again and then we have to go to point E once you are point E and eh, we know that at point E our reaction is going upward which is 8 kilonewton so we will draw a line which is kind of 8 kilonewton okay so in here we have 5 kilometer okay so this is our negative zone and this is our positive zone so this is our shear force diagram okay now we have to draw bending moment diagram before drawing a bending moment diagram we have to calculate bending moments so I will just write in here bending moment so bending moment at point A is always 0 as we know 8 kilonewton so 8 kilonewton multiplied by 0 will be 0 because there is no arm for for point A so the force multiply with its distance and the distance is 0 bending moment at point B that will be so we have 8 kilonewtons to get to point B we have 2 meter as you can see 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter and again 2 meter 
so at point B will be 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16 kilonewton so this is 0 this is 16 kilonewton and then bending moment at point C will be 8 multiplied by 4 then we have the 5 kilonewton 5 multiplied by 2 so 8 multiplied by 4 because we are going to point C from A to C is 4 so that's why 4 is here then minus because downwards we have 5 kilonewton at point B and the distance to C from B to C is 2 so 5 multiplied by 2 so we will get uh, 32 minus 10 is equal to 22 kilonewton okay bending moment at point D okay when we calculate bending moment we have to consider everything from point A from the beginning so 8 multiplied by 2 D is 6 minus then we have 5 kilonewton to D is 4 then we have 6 kilonewton to D is 2 6 multiplied by 2 and uh, we will calculate it it's gonna be 48 minus 20 minus 12 is equal to 16 kilonewton okay then point E so this is the final point bending moment at point E so it will be 8 multiplied by 8 minus 5 multiplied by 6 minus 6 multiplied by 4 so these are the loads obviously 8 then 5 then 6 and with it multiply with the distance or with the arm you can say then we have 5 multiplied by 2 so that's the end we don't have other loads so it will be 64 minus 30 minus 24 minus 10 so if we subtract all these values we will get 0 kilonewton so based on these values so we have this number we have this number we have this number again 16 then we have a last so based on these four points we will draw our bending moment diagram so at point b sorry at point a is zero so the bending moment diagram is as you can see we have calculated zero kilonewton at a 16 kilonewton at b 22 kilonewton at c 16 kilonewton at point d and zero kilonewton at point e we just have to draw bending moment diagram following these numbers or these loads which we have calculated okay so at a is zero so it'll be zero at b is 16 so i'll say 16 is somewhere here at point sorry at b is 16 at point c is 22 22 is somewhere here i'd say so it's just a roughly guess and then again at point D is 16 and point E is 0. Now we have to connect these points with diagonal lines. So it will be something like that. So then we have to connect this line. Connect with this line. So this is our bending moment diagram. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.